Hey, this is Mike. Thank you so much for choosing this video. I am in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, visiting Judd Coon Chevrolet, and today I'm checking out a 2016 Chevrolet Impala in the LTZ trim level. Tons of features to show off on this awesome car, so let's go ahead and start checking it out. One of the most impressive things on the exterior of the vehicle are these 20-inch alloy wheels with a satin finish. Really look amazing. Now this vehicle has four-wheel disc brakes and all four-wheel disc brakes are ventilated. The name of this color is Iridescent Pearl and man does it look good. It actually does look like a pearl when you look at it with the sun shining on it. It has that, I don't know, distinct look that a pearl coat has. Anyways, I think you know what I'm talking about. So here in the front you have the bow tie there in the center with some chrome accents around the outside. Daytime running lights and the LEDs down at the bottom. Your headlights are projector headlights with powered by an HID bulb for your low and your high beams. So this is what your key looks like. It's a proximity key and it also has a little switchblade key there in case you need that physical key. But typically you can just have it like that, put it in your pocket, and use the vehicle without even taking it out of your pocket or your purse. You have a lock and unlock button there, remote start, ability to open up the trunk, and a panic button here at the bottom. In order to use the remote start, you just have to make sure the vehicle is locked by pushing the lock button and then push and hold the remote start, and it will start right up for you. Now to turn it off, all you have to do is press and hold the remote start again, and it'll turn right off. As long as you have the key with you, within a close proximity of the vehicle, you can lock and unlock the doors by using this button. So you just push that button, unlock, push it again to lock. It's that simple. So let's go ahead and start taking a look at the jet black interior, starting with the passenger side door. All the inside around your arm is soft to the touch. You have some contrast stitching there. And down here, you have some sim simulated wood grain around your power window control water bottle holder little storage pockets down there as well as here you have a premium Bose sound system there's one of the speakers then you have this accent right up in here with a chrome accent as well there's your threshold power seat here on the passenger side with powered lumbar support a four-way power lumbar support and these leather seats are absolutely comfortable as can be and that you can move them up and down and everywhere just like a dentist chair so you can get the really the, the perfect position you have very small bolsters there so they're not intruding on your body they're heated and cooled seats with a little perforations there but really nice very comfortable seats you have to sit in them to see what i'm talking about there's your floor space there in front of the passenger you can see it has plenty of room and it has the uh the, the slush mats or the rubber mats there which hook in place here's your glove compartment glove compartment has smooth plastic on the inside to keep it clean let's take a look at the inside of the back back door similar styling as the front with the soft to the touch features you have the contrast stitching the wood accents the pockets there at the bottom the door's a little bit smaller but just generally the same quality and looking good so here's your back seats it's basically a bench seat which it folds down a, in a 60 40 split fashion so you can have a combination of cargo and passenger space there's your floorboard plenty of leg room back here uh, the only issue is the small or significant hub not really that small there in the center so the center passenger would have to either straddle that or have shorter legs like a child or something like that there's a uh, center armrest with cup holders in case you need it of course that gets out of the way in case you need to use the center passenger space you do have the latch system for car seats as well you have an AC adapter 120 volts 150 watts max so you're not going to be able to you know plug a hair dryer in there but you will be able to charge your laptop or cell phone stuff like that then you have a little storage pocket there your fuel door is on the passenger side so you can tell them to pump the gas for you your passenger okay so here's your uh your cap and it has this little tether string there and 
it has a place to hang it out here so it keeps it away from your iridescent pearl coat paint keep it from scratching it and it keeps it out of your way and it keeps you from losing it let's take a look at back of the vehicle looking pretty good with the dual exhaust tips back here then you have the parking sensors across the back those little circles you also have a backup camera hidden under here next to the license plate it also has a deck lid spoiler kind of small but it looks pretty nice okay so opening up the trunk you can use the key or there's a little button under here so you can push that button under here or let's go ahead and use the key to pop it open so I can give an idea of how much it comes up it actually goes up all the way so that's really good all right massive trunk here you got space there on the right and left they try to give you as much space as possible there's a net there and then it goes way back in there and of course you can fold those seats down you can see the split there and that way you can have a combination of cargo and passenger space to accommodate your needs in the moment you have a little bit more storage space under here let's go ahead and check that out so right in here you have a, a storage space that's completely out of the way, kind of hidden. And then you lift this up and check it out. You have your spare tire and tools underneath it. If you want to start the vehicle without the remote start, you just get in. You just have to have the key with you. Put your foot on the brake and hold it and push this button. So here's the floorboard in front of the driver's seat and you can see it has the uh, snap-in floor mat so it doesn't slide around on you. Now this floor mat is just laying on top of the other one but it hasn't been officially installed yet. But you can see how much those type of floor mats, it captures all the dirt and, and, and sand and then it's easily cleaned out. So that's those are really highly recommended by me. So you have your braking accelerator pedal there. Place to rest your left foot which is very important to me. So let's go ahead and take a look under the hood. In order to open up the hood, it's super easy. There's a little latch, a little bit to the left of center. You just reach in here, move it to the right, lift up just a few inches, and it goes up the rest of the way by itself. And it's mostly covered up with plastic. It's a 3.6 liter V6 with VVT, and it's a direct injection. It's paired to a six-speed automatic transmission. And hey, look at there. You can actually see a little bit of metal around the edge. I like to see metal when I lift the hood instead of plastic, but that's just me. Pretty smooth running engine, quiet. Let's take a look at the driver's side door with all the buttons. So you can see it has the power window controls and they're automatic one touch up and down so you got one up and down like so but let me go ahead and show you right here the window is a double pane with an acoustic material in, in between to keep the sound from entering the vehicle so that's a that's a good feature good soundproofing feature there and then you have your side mirror controls there presets two presets for your power seat as well as the exit mode Here's your power seat with the four-way lumbar, lumbar support. Really like the uh, little accent here on the leather seats. It's looking really nice. Just adds a, it just adds a little bit of a extra pop there on the coloring. The stitching does a good job, but that, that extra seam looks pretty cool. Okay, so right in here you have an electronic parking brake, dimmer switch for your interior gauges, ability to pop the trunk, your parking sensors you can turn on and off and then you have a lane departure warning system which you can turn on and off you also have a little storage pocket down here for putting change in or whatever and check it out powered tilt and telescoping steering column so you can adjust it real easy even while you're driving okay let's go ahead and take a look on the inside and wow, it's a pretty warm day today, and I had the cooled seats on, which make a huge difference. And that's just a feature that I really like, the heated and cooled seats. 
So let's go ahead and start here on the steering wheel. It's a leather wrapped steering wheel. Little bolsters there. Very comfortable and the leather feels like, it's not really a heavily textured leather. Uh, it does have a slight texturing, but it's just a very quality feeling steering wheel. And you see the leather goes up here. And then you have that accent, bow tie in the middle. You have some buttons on the back of the steering wheel. Back here, there your volume for your radio is on this side. And on the other side is cycling through the presets on your radio. So here on the left side is your cruise control. You just have to turn it on, set it. You turn it on, you set it, change through your speeds, and you can cancel it there. Now this has adaptive cruise control where you can set the distance between you and the vehicle in front of you. It uses a radar system to keep that distance uh, consistent. And you can set the gap by pushing that button there and it'll kind of give you an idea of the distance that you want. You have a heated steering wheel as well and you can turn that feature on and off. You see a little light that turns on when you turn it on. Too hot for that today though. On this side you have the voice recognition and your Bluetooth, when you pair your Bluetooth phone you can actually uh, answer calls and make calls using that button and then there's the hang up right there. These buttons right here correspond with the screen between the gauges which we'll get to in a minute. Here on the right is your windshield wipers controls. Here on the left is your turn signal and your headlight controls which you have a, an automatic See if it'll focus there. It has an automatic. You pull it down to turn off uh, your automatic light control. You can turn that on and off. And then you have parking lights. And then there's your headlights there. Okay, so here's your gauges. You can see you have your RPMs there on the left. Your speedometer on the right. Your top left is your fuel gauge. And on the top right is your engine coolant temperature. But right here in the center, there's a screen. You can see it has a digital speedometer displayed right now with your odometer at the bottom. Bottom left is your the, the, the comp, digital compass showing you which way the vehicle is facing. So let's go ahead and scroll down using these buttons here. Remember those. We're going to kind of scroll down so you can see this is part of a whole menu system. So we've got your trip. Trip B, fuel range, instant fuel economy, so it'll show you what you're getting in that moment. So if you really want to get thrifty, you can. Oil life, how long is how much is remaining on that? Tire pressure on each tire, and then scrolls down here to your average speed and your coolant temperature. And it scrolls back to your digital speedometer. Now if I put push, push to the right. You can reset it there. If I go to the left, it has this menu system here where you can info, you can have in audio information, your phone information on the screen, navigation information, and then a whole slew of options there. So there's lots of different information that you can have on this particular screen. My default screen would probably be just the digital speedometer, and you don't actually have to go through all that stuff to check it. It'll alert you if there's anything out of spec, but it's there in case you need it. Okay, so let's take a look at this screen here. It's a touch screen, and right now we're at the home screen. So we push the home screen, this is what will show up. And you have a audio icon, which takes you to this screen. And then you have your presets at the bottom. You can tune through the stations. You can browse different genres. It has AM, FM, satellite radio. It also has different media sources. So there's an auxiliary input. There's actually a CD player too down here, which is surprising. You also have a USB port to play music. Let's push the home button here. Go to phone screen so you can see what that looks like. I don't have one paired, but once you pair your phone, somebody has a phone paired. Uh, but you can see the contacts, recent calls. Uh, you can have a, D, uh, a keypad there so you can uh, you know, dial a number. You can also use voice recognition so you can actually call a specific, specific specific people just by saying their name and it'll call them as long as they're saved in your phone book okay so then projection that is Apple CarPlay or, or 
Android Auto. Uh, once you plug in your phone, it's going to download the appropriate software and install it for you, and it projects that program onto the screen. And it replaces all this stuff, so you, you know it's a different system than this. So your navigation is here, and you can zoom in and out. We're here in North Rural Beach, South Carolina, and you can see the map is really nice. You can zoom out there so we can see the ocean, you can see all the roads there. And you, you can, of course, put in a destination, an address. You can save addresses, recent ones, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and put the, push the home there. Pandora, there's your settings, a whole bunch of settings. I'm not going to go into all of them, but there's a ton of them here. Pandora is an internet radio service. You can play music that way. You can also check the weather. Check this out. You can check it hourly. A five-day forecast on route if you have a particular route you're going to it'll check and see uh, what it's gonna be at when you get there that kind of thing you can also send and receive text messages over here is your OnStar screen and traffic you can actually check traffic and see what's going on around you so that's kind of a basic rundown of the touchscreen the different options that it has and of course you have the traditional volume and tune through the stations there and you have the uh, you know the buttons here for cycling through different screens or different uh, stations there uh, or like presets and then you have media and radio buttons physical buttons in addition to the screen buttons but also this button right here will reveal a secret compartment hidden safe and this is where you can keep your valuables it's a felt lined compartment and you can put stuff in there and nobody's going to know it's it's in there at all. You can keep your gold and cash. And it's out of sight, out of mind. Okay, so down here we've already seen the start button. But here's your dual zone climate control for the driver and passenger. You can sync those. Right now they're synced. And I can move this one and both of them will move. It'll also show on the screen there as well. But all I have to do in order to unsync it is just move this or I can push that button. So that way uh, the passenger can have their separate controls if they want to. Your fan speed is this dial, where you want the air to blow, front and rear defrosters, and your recirculation and AC is over here. So check it out. Look at that, that wood grain there. Let's open this up and you have a wireless charger. As long as your phone is capable of wireless charging, you can just lay it right there and it'll charge for you. Of course, you can use it as a storage compartment as well. Okay, so let's look down here. Um, this is your cup holders, of course. And here's your shifter. Now the shifter has a cycle through the gears button, plus and minus on top. Let's go ahead and put it in reverse so we can take a look at the backup camera. Like so. Very good uh, resolution so you can see really good. And turning the steering wheel reveals that it has a uh, active uh, guidelines there. move this down and there's neutral there's drive that's your normal drive position it's going to cycle through all six gear ratios for you then you have the manual mode and that's where you can cycle through uh, the through the actual gear ratios yourself okay so right here is move my cell phone I'm going to show you that in a minute your trash control you can turn that on and off there it's automatically on then you have your heated and cooled seats for both the driver and the passenger which I have the cooled seat on which is a big plus big plus but right here is a little slanted pocket which is perfect for, for putting a cell phone now this is a, uh, a Note 4 which is a really big phone and look at that it fits right in there and it's a good angle and it's just perfect and I can see notifications there at the top as you know if I want to glance down look at them it's uh it's in a secure position so when i'm driving you know rigorously through traffic it's not going to fall down or anything like that okay before i go to any much further let me show you the window sticker so you can use the pause button and get all the information if you want it lots and lots of options there now i'm going to try to list these in the description so if you have any if you want to look there you can do that or you could just use the pause button and, and read it now okay so here's your center armrest 
and it's quite soft and comfortable and it's wide enough to where you can share it with your passenger and it lifts up like so and you have this storage area but right here is this tray which is removable so you can remove this tray and then you have this big storage area and that's where you'll find your USB auxiliary inputs as well as a 12 volt power supply you also have a place for wires to go in and out right there in the center which is good if you're plugging things in you don't want to pinch your wires put that back in place Okay, so let's look up here. We have an auto dim rear view mirror. We also have an auto dim side mirror on the driver's side, but not the passenger side. Okay, so you can see it's auto dimming because I have the, the shade over the light sensor, which is behind here. Now I wanna mention on the, uh, the side of the mirror, your blind spot monitoring system has this little icon here on the side mirror and right there you can see it that will actually illuminate uh, when there's a vehicle in your blind spot now it's one on both sides so that'll illuminate just to let you know there's somebody there and now if you put your turn signal on in that direction it's going to give you an audible audible warning to kind of let you know hey there's there's somebody there okay so up here is your voice recognition button like a roadside like you push that to speak and make commands your voice recognition then you have your OnStar emergency button here you have some tap lights to have a quick reading light your interior lights you can turn on all of them like so have them all off or you can have them turn on with the door there's your home link garage door opener con controls right here is your controls for your sunroof which we'll get into in just a minute so here's your visor with mirror and lights. Your visor also slides in and out, so you can get that right position, especially on the side window. But here is your sunroof. Now your sunroof is huge. So let's go ahead and open up this, the shade, which blocks 100% of the light. So now you can see it's a, it's a panora panoramic sunroof. You can bend it up like so, or you can open it all the way up. And of course you can close the, the shade there in case you want to block 100% of the light. Okay, so let's take a look at the visibility there in the back. So you can see the headrests don't get in the way much. You have those uh, quarter panel windows there which help out with blind spots rear glass but overall really good of course you have the blind spot monitoring system parking sensors backup camera all that good stuff to kind of help you out with that okay so there you have it 2016 Chevrolet Impala and it's the LTZ trim level has lots and lots of cool features. So thank you for watching and thank you to Judd Coon Chevrolet here in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina for allowing me to show off an awesome vehicle and I'll see you guys next time.